I'm Mike DeVries. We're here at MD Tattoo Studio. Been here going on about six years. I've had many artists come through the doors here that weren't known, but I gave them a chance because I saw one or two pieces in their portfolio that I saw potential. As soon as they step foot into the door, they step up their game. And then all of a sudden they're fucking fantastic. You know, we're, we're really diverse in pretty much all styles, really. But Caitlin does prefer color. Usually the kind of tattoos that I end up doing are things that I draw. She custom draws everything. I mean, she'll spend hours drawing stuff. Jamie, he's kind of like me. Prefer to do more realism. Um, that's usually what people ask me to do. But I do like to switch it up, and if I can, do traditional as well. The color realism is just easier for me, so there's more of that. And then there's Mark Durant. He prefers color, I think, too, but he does awesome black and gray portraits as well. I kind of like to do a little of everything. A lot of people are drawn to my color use, but I like to go for anywhere from like, you know, realistic to, uh, to very graphic. Daniel, that he's the newest guy here, and like, he just likes the evil skulls, crazy faces, you know, and his thing is like, black and gray, loves it. When somebody comes in and asks me for a tattoo, I usually try to gear it more towards realism, but lately I've been using a lot more line work, but still keeping the realism shading and everything on it just to give it a little different, different effect. A lot of people think that I'm known for color realism. Really, to me, it's really not the case because when I first started tattooing, I was doing everything. And then I remember the, this one monkey that I did, or an ape, and like everybody was like blown away. They were like, I've never seen anything like that. That's where I kind of got known for the, you know, color realism. But really like I'm trying nowadays to kind of stray away from that a little bit. I kind of call my style nowadays like realistic-ish. Just get the foundation and then the whole inner part of it, I just make up as I do it. We got very fortunate to get in here and learn from Mike DeVries, who I've looked up to. He's an incredible teacher. My history, I'd say, was trying to focus on painting. Notice I started gravitating towards doing bioorganic, biomech, and visionary type psychedelic work. I have experience with using digital stuff to kind of compile ideas. I do know how to use Photoshop. I've learned a ton from guys like Mike and Jamie who are extremely proficient in it. It takes me a long time to draw something. Like, if somebody wants like a full like back piece, it's gonna take me all day to draw it. But I could Photoshop it in 10 minutes. You know, 90% of my stuff is, you know, done on the computer first. So it's like, I don't spend five hours doing a back piece and then the client's like, I don't like it. So I like doing it with the client right next to me. Most people ask me for realism, so the best way to do that is just kind of put everything together in a collage and, you know, making your own artwork and then tattooing it. So it's a big time saver. They see what they're going to get and it just goes really well. You know, throughout the years, you know, I've had people come and go. And I feel like the MD Tattoo Studio right now is like dialed in. I couldn't ask for anything more. Like, I think everybody here is perfect. Thanks for coming out to MD Tattoo Studio and I hope you enjoy the tour.